Hey guys, Eric here with Rainy Ridge. Out here in what's going to wind up being our goat and donkey pen area. I figured I'd bring y'all out here and uh, just kind of show you the area we got and then what we got to do to get this secured so we can get some uh, goats and donkeys out here. So give me just a second. Let me get this thing, the camera flipped around here so I can kind of show you a little bit better what I got going on and we'll be right Alrighty, so this is uh, coming in down the road here into our drive. So this part's not going to be too bad. Just build a fence right up. Probably put the electric pole just on the inside of the fence and then that way I can just mow with the mower alongside the road there come up make this corner here and then again I'm not going to get out right along the edge here I'll probably come in off the road two or three feet at least long wide enough so I can get the mower up beside it but that way that gives us plenty of room to get in and out with uh, trailers and delivery trucks can get in and out of here too so but we'll come down and then this is where the real work's going to begin come down here to this corner between us and our neighbors here so we're going to have to get this cleaned up get all this brush cleaned up back here to the fence and get back in behind this big big oak tree i said it was big guys i wasn't lying this is basically was it three yeah three oak trees let me see if i can get back here just a little bit further three big good sized oak trees all growed up in together so, yeah, I got to work around that. Even my new chainsaw that I got ain't big enough to cut this thing down. But it's also got a big branch that grows over in the neighbor's place. And I really need to get it cut out and cleaned up so that way the neighbors can come in here and reclaim this corner of their property. Because they do cut hay over here. But with that branch, they've just kind of kept cutting in and in and in. And this is taking over, so they're losing quite a bit of hay. So I do need to get in here and get that, get that branch cut out and out of there. Then that way they can get in here and do what they need to do so they can reclaim this part of their property so they can get some more hay. So anyway... So we got this little bit of barbed wire here, which that'll be another thing once they get that done, because they do run cattle in here as well, but they don't really come in past that brush. But that part need to be fixed for them, but so we can run our fence along for the goats and donkeys. But we gotta come down here, make this corner here around here. As you can see that they just cut hay the other day. Oh, excuse me, guys. So, but yeah, this part of the fence needs fixed. And that's going to kind of lead me into my first question. What do you guys think? Because Tina and I are wondering between uh, doing electric fence, which they've got the solar electric fence deals, or do we want to just put panels up and put panels in? Let's know what you guys think. I'm kind of either way on it. I think the electric fence will be a little bit easier and cheaper, but at the same time, I'm not sure about the solar, how well it's going to hit, which granted it's not, not running cows in here. It's just going to be a couple donkeys and some goats. So let me know what you guys think. So anyway, we can come in here around this corner here, come around that tree, and then I've got brush I gotta have to clean up on this side 
and get this fence fixed. And again, either we're going to either tie on cattle panels or do electric. But I got to get this tree cut out and get all this trimmed back. Let me see if I can get back here far enough where you can actually see what I'm pointing at instead of just ramming you right in that tree. So we got that. Come down here like so. And you see we gotta get all this cut out and cleaned. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Through here. I said I'm not too worried about the barbed wire, but I do want to get to the fence posts. Set another fence post in here by where this purple post is. This is just markers right now, um, marking up where we're going to build a, a shed. But so bring the fence, put a put a post in right here after we get all this cleaned out, and then bring the fence over and tie it into here, this corner of the shed here, and this will be open. Um, so, but that'll be the corner. And here's the other corner here. Excuse my burn barrel that Tina's been after me to get cleaned out of here that I have not done yet, obviously, because it's still sitting right there, or it has been for a day or two-ish. So... This will be the front side of the shed here. It'll be open. And again, from this post up here, going back out to the road, you can see Tina sitting over there in the shade. Say, hi, dear. Hi, dear. See, she does what she told. <laughs> Husband trip tip number one. So, take that pole, probably bring it in just a smidge. And then take it out to the road there. And again, ignore the burn barrel. I will get it out of here. I promise. And then here's the back side. And that post is just kind of marking what will be the back of the shed. And then between that post right here and this post. Hi, puppies. We'll bring it out, and that'll be where we can keep feeding hay for them. So, that's kind of going to be our lot for the couple donkeys and goats. Which the goats, and the other thing too we was thinking about with the electric. I mean, we couldn't obviously keep taking this one down because we're going to have donkeys in here. But Tina had also mentioned too, if we got another one, we could take it out into places along the property and set it up and then run the goats in different sections and let them eat some brush. So anybody's got any thoughts on the uh, solar electric fence, let me know. Tell us what you think. So I'm gonna shut this off for just a second and get set back up and I think Tina over there has got a few things to say too. So we will be right back. So, as you can see, we're back. <laughs> I found Tina. I was sitting here in the chair. <laughs> She's hard to see. So, I just want to give you guys a little update. I told you she had stuff to say. Going on on the ridge here. Ah, uh, hey, something. You married me. You work 12 hours a day and still come home spunky, don't you? <laughs> I'm just ready to get home. It's been a long weekend. Yeah, so, like I said, I don't know, I don't know what all you told in your first part of your video. No, I said we're going to put fence there, there, got a clean fence and then put fence up there, build a shed there, put so, some goats and a couple donkeys in here. So, did you tell where I was getting goats? No. No? I figured that's what you wanted to say. <laughs> so... Jason and Tara at White Rock has mentioned to us on their live, I'm not got a chance to talk to them about it, about coming over and 
getting some of their goats and your daddy's got the donkey that we're gonna eventually get mm-hmm because he wants them gone <laughs> so we're planning out where we're gonna build a pen and everything and hopefully we can get something going here mm-hmm it's not a huge area so we can't run a lot but a couple donkeys and a couple little goats will be fine <clears throat> and then you never know maybe we'll get the electric fence and that we can move back and forth and we'll keep going back a few acres at a time maybe we'll get the place cleaned up goats mm -hmm. lead a lot so like i mentioned before though let us know down below what your thoughts are do the uh, solar powered electric fence or just do some panels because I don't have any experience with the solar powered electric fence. I know the plug-in ones, but I don't want to run electric out here. So, because it's right across the driveway and I ain't burying it. <laughs> so it's either going to be a real fence or do the solar powered. Which this area gets plenty of sunlight, so I don't have to worry about lack of sun for solar. I just want to make sure it's decent. Hopefully it'll hold them in. Yeah. So I hear goats are escape artists. Mm-hmm. So it, it's not a huge area, so I mean it they don't have to pack a huge wall up to it to go a long distance, but we do need it big enough to run two or three strands. But another update. Hopefully, cross your fingers, we'll have water this week. Yay! <laughs> Everybody's all our friends, Nan and Dale with nine acres, and Lauren and Joel with making it home. They've been so great and offering to come and help. It's like, it's all right, guys. We just, we don't do credit cards or nothing, and it just takes a little bit to save up, and you know, the well is a little expensive. So. Been working lots of overtime, saving up money, neighbor driving by. We had to say howdy. <laughs> so. We like our neighbors. Yeah. But so yeah, is and, and this is like we we've had a lot of people offering to come up and help and come out and help from friends from work and whatnot and everything else and then of course all our family over here on here. I mean we we we've got everything up on top of the ground. It's just a matter of getting the parts replaced because we got to do the the pump itself and then all new wiring and it's got to go down five hundred and. 20 feet so that's a lot of wire and wire is not cheap so just been like i said working a lot of overtime scrimping and saving and we should have the money hopefully this week Woohoo! so also gotta get tires on the front of the truck yep like i said everybody's been worried about us and everything we lived off grid before yeah we we're making it okay Yep. so and we're not totally off grid we do have some electric yeah so no air conditioning on. though it's been great <laughs> yeah but anywho so that's kind of our plan though for the pen another neighbor saying howdy <laughs> um so yeah but that's kind of our thoughts on the pen and we'll get some videos up of us building that and everything else and building the shed i gotta go get a post hole digger we got rock bar and because I'm going to need it to dig holes for the posts so we can build the shed. We got a T post driver. But we're still trying to figure out what we want to do for the fence itself as far as if we want to put panels up or if we want to do the electric. The electric is going to be the easiest thing because I can put the electric fence stakes up a whole lot easier out here than I can <laughs> T -post. trying to drive T posts because it's nothing but rock. So, anywho. I just know what you guys think. We want your guys' opinions and thoughts and your experiences on it. So I'm fixing to yell at my dogs because I don't know where they're going, but they shouldn't be going the direction they're going. <laughs> so we're going to cut it out here. Guys, like, subscribe, share it out. Don't forget to hit that little ringy dingy bell to let, it, let you all know when <laughs> we get a bell. <laughs> new video out. And we'll catch you all later, guys. So, bye-bye for now, and stick around and see what we get into next. Bye, guys!